So Rishi, talk us through, talk us through, compare. Uh, so what you're seeing here uh, is, a, is a compare screen at the top. Um, at the, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, what you're seeing here is the compare screen. Uh, these are the six teams that we have. Uh, and every team has about, there's tons of synthesis versions now. Some of them have the land use one, and some of them don't, uh, but we'll just go with it. Uh, what I have selected is the 2020 uh, land use uh, among the teams that have it. And here is the decision model. So um, we had questions earlier on how is it used. So it is used here like this, which is uh, you can identify uh, clearly, in this case, the team number one and three uh, prioritize utility and transportation, which is the dark color. So immediately you can see that there may be something of interest between the two of you. Um, then you have a summary impacts at the bottom, the impact summary. So this is how your synthesis performs uh, for, uh, for, the, um, for the selections that you've made. So for example, uh, this uh, synthesis is um, overlapping a lot of the identity uh, housing and the commercial red area, which is understandable because our maps are, um, are red. But again, the impact is on the original evaluation on the maps. the original evaluation, not, not on the evaluations that you updated because of your own investments. Right. Uh, if somebody were voting today, they'd say, no thank you, because you violated the rules. Uh, and, and so you can do a quick comparison here. Uh, we have a cost model, which I'm not going to go into, uh, but there is a costing uh, associated with it. And then finally, here you see uh, the grids, the selection grids of the, uh, of the individual uh, teams for this synthesis. So every time you change a version, I'm not going to do it now, uh, the, the grid changes and, and, the, and the data is, is updated as well. But it also shows you things. It shows you, for example, if this team doesn't have things in some of these colors. And as you can see, the, the, immediately you can see uh, the, the teams with a lot of diagrams at the bottom are the ones that added new diagrams later, uh, essentially, and, and did not take the experts or were not satisfied with the experts that were made in this part of the day. Now, this is the next step. Uh, I'm going to go back to my original Zoom. Um, this is the overlap. Uh, of all the selected <laughs> synthesis that we've chosen. And so this is the land use uh, overlap, and then there's a small transparency here that you can play with. Um, um, and the percentage we in 35, that's it's fine. Yeah, but 30, a 30% 30 transparency for six designs will still show it. If you make them more opaque, the top one will show and knock out the bottom ones. Right. Exactly, so if you do the kind of see that. Um, now, the next thing is the synthesis scores. Uh, what this is, no, like, no, no, no. Uh, okay, you you do that, but then we'll go back and talk about this. The, the that's right. That's right. Still, that's, that's right. That's right. So I just wanted to show you the different ways to compare. What this is doing is it's a pretty uh, simple and uh, I would say um, brute force type type uh, analysis. What it's all, all it's doing is saying uh, a plus for the green and a minus for the yellow. So it's actually saying for the red. Oh, stop, sorry, the red. Um, and so it's doing a red minus green analysis. How much of it is uh, uh, falling on red and how much of it is falling on green? Uh, in this case, I wouldn't use it too much because we have the high density and the commercial has been very red. So. And that's, that's one reason why the evaluation maps that are most <coughs> useful are to take a range of scores for evaluation and divide them into five or three equal levels. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other words, it's a, it's a range of equal number of area distribution, which gives you the best shot at saying whether you're better than average or below average. It's also a, a, a reflection on the study area. If you study a very mountainous area, it may not be uh, you know, suitable for commerce or something. Does it do the, uh, the dynamic update of the evaluation model? No, no. Or? just the original. Okay. Don't, don't, but, but assume that it could if it was programmed in the ninth version instead of the sixth version. And also assume that that's the basis for an index, and, and you can certainly weight those scores. You can certainly weight those scores by the, the decision model. 
right? You've got a scoring system for your decision model. Just weight the pluses and minuses by the decision model and make a more as sophisticated uh, uh, indexing that you want. A lot of red. A lot of their policies all under red. That's all they need. And it does that because they started out with a map that was all red. Now, the final one is the diagram frequency that you're seeing over here. And this is what we're going to do. <coughs> OK. <coughs> now, you want me to no, do a no, live? Keep this going. OK. Oh, I'm going to note down the, um, okay. the proper right, ones. I'm going to read them. You write them. I, uh, uh, I want crit for, I wish there was a number here. Yeah. Um, I, we had that before. Uh, yeah, I think I one. Yeah, one, two, two three, four, five, six. And six, right? Four and six. One and six. six. One and six. six. Yeah. I want surface four. No, surface six. I, no, wait. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to have ground waters four and five, because I want something in each category. I want forest three, five, six, seven, right. eight, yeah. 15. I want ag. One, four, yeah. twelve. Yeah. I can't see any numbers in here. Uh, yeah, the, it's all ones, Carl. The, okay. The one on then, top is two. Eight, then I'll eight, take two. one. I'll take one. Yeah. I'll take high density one, two. I'll take commerce four. Five twenty-five. I'll take utilities five and six. I'll take transportations one through one through nine. And that's it. <coughs> Recall those nine were sort of they were the ones that were. I know. Uh, yeah, I know. Those ones are I know. Yeah, but that's everybody used them. That's yeah. let's see what happens. Um, so let's make. Um, there's one more thing that I wanted to show while you're analyzing this. So there is this detailed analysis um, tab. If you click over here, I hope it works. Is that John? I was having problems with this. Um, what you can do is you, have, you can actually uh, do a fairly detailed. Um, the side by side compare. That's right. Yeah. Um, in detail. So let's um, so team three and let's do team one. I'm going to load um, version one point twenty, version two. Let's do the land use one. There we go. There's offset issue. Do is you load the first one and you load the second one, and you can do a side by side analysis uh, which base maps, etc. Uh, the second thing you can do is do this kind of uh, animation. So I'm going to, it's going to make uh, the first one appear and the second one. See, so you can do simple um, uh, differences between, between, between the two, uh, two, two synthesis. You can do something like uh, uh, transparency changes, uh, and finally, uh, here you have the, the slide. So you can you can kind of go in deep into that. And when we negotiate between two teams, that's obviously the tool that you want to be. Able to use. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's make point seven C for that. And we'll do it here. Thank <laughs> you. 
exactly. <laughs> design as a team because after you see that team's work you have to say and somebody needs to take notes can we work with these people in the collaboration okay. don't play the expert that you can do by yourself in the next exercise but each team has to quietly say what do we think of this all right and then what you're going to do is you're going to fill out the chart in the front and we're going to end up on that chart for the negotiation discussion got it so we're going to go teams one, two, three, four, except, are you guys ready? Do you want to go last? Okay. Now, uh, your problem is this. How are you going to listen to their presentations? Well, we can do presentations. No, they're still working. 
They were given a slightly different task this morning, so they're actually doing <coughs> version one on everybody's behalf. But because it's so different in terms of what they're after, maybe that's okay. But they have to they have to listen to the other team's presentations. That's the problem. Can we just show you what we have right now? Yeah, the answer to that is yes. So you'll go first. Have it said. No, no, you're going to take a 10 minute break. Everybody's going to take a 10 minute break, and then we'll caucus at your desk, then go to number two, number three, number four, as a team, okay. caucusing afterwards each time to say, can we work with these people? This, we're using these monitors. And that's who we are. Exactly. So set up, set up your monitor to show what you want to show us. Know where they are. Question. I know. So you take your computer. That's why I think we do it here with one. You can just. I can sit here and they can just stand here. And stand. I think it's probably better to walk around. That way you can be off PowerPoints. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. And, and, and in in your case, take the first team that presents. Mm -hmm. Quickly hook up your computer to them, and we're in business. Okay. And, and yell at us to come we're this way. We're not going to technology in there. All right, everybody. 10-minute break, get yourselves organized.